Welcome to Science Investigators, the show where our investigation team answer all your science-related questions. This week, we're in Darndale National School. Coming up on today's episode, someone has committed a crime in the school. Can the gang use signs to find the criminal? Now it's time to meet the investigators. My name is Adam, I'm 12, and I like hurling, gat and signs. My name is Chelsea, I'm 12 years old, I like playing wee games, hurling and Science. My name is Teague and I'm 11 and I like video games, tennis and science. My name's Luke and I like football, video games and science. We are the Science Investigators! Oh, I can't wait to see what the question is today. I really hope we'll be able to blow some up. Yay, science! Oh, cool. Can't we? Oh, here's the question now. Open it! Open it! Sorry, the question is, how many elements are in the periodic table? Are you what? serious? What? Are you actually for real? What is that? What does that, that mean? What is even a periodic table? The periodic table is a tabular arrangement on the chemical elements ordered by their atomic number, electron configurations and recurring chemical properties. This ordering show periodic trends such as elements with similar behaviour in the same column. Boring. Oh, I want to go to a room today. Maybe we'll ask the rest of the class to the day now. Hi scientists, we have the question of the week. Our question of the week today is, how many elements in the periodic table? I'm not hearing terrible news. There's been a crime committed in here. I'm depending on you scientists to sort this out and find out what happened and who's responsible. You do that? Yes! When we came into the classroom this morning, there was a crime scene. Money boxes, smashed and all the money was taken out of it. The clues that we found on the crime scene were a footprint on the ground, a fingerprint on the glass, a piece of thread, scratches on the window, blood, a broken piggy bank, and a coke, the team marks on the half eaten Freddo bar. <laughs> Research. I think we need to call in an expert. Coming up on Science Investigations, our scientist Tracy Cassidy explains about the science of crime. You can tell even the height and the weight of the person by looking at the shoe. Can you extract the DNA from a banana? But now let's return to our rocket scientists for the final part of their challenge to make a working rocket. Can you build me a rocket space? This is cool, but we want to make a bigger rocket. The rockets wouldn't launch. It was very sad when um, the rockets didn't work. flew three times the height of school. 
it was the king of all the rockets. It was Leo. Well done everybody, we managed to learn how to launch a rocket. Yeah! Rocket! Well done scientists, it's been a great journey and those are fantastic rockets. So far on Science Investigators, someone has committed a crime in the school. Can the gang use science to find the criminal? Now let's return for the final part of today's episode. Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm from Junior Einstein Science Club and I love to bring really cool, fun, hands-on science to classrooms with Irish school kids. How can the footprint help, help us off the crime? So you can look at the sh shape that the shoe makes on the mud or on the ground and you can tell a lot from it. You can tell what, where the shoe came from, you can tell what kind of shoe it was, you can tell even the height and the weight of the person by looking at the shoe. How can the scratches on the window help us solve the crime? And what we did was we took a mould, didn't we? We put the clay on top of the scratches, so then we had a mould of the scratches. How can we use the fingerprint on the glass to solve the crime? So everybody has a unique fingerprint. Did you look at your thumb and see all the whorls and lines and arches? Every time you touch something, you leave a little trace of those lines because of the sweat from your body. So if you leave a fingerprint on the scene, first you dust and then you take cello tape and put it over and you take, when you take the cello tape off, you have a perfect fingerprint. If we suspect somebody, if we saw somebody running away and the police catch him, then we can take that person's fingerprint and match it up to the one we found. How can the DNA help us solve the crime? Well, DNA is in all of your cells in your body and your DNA is like a special recipe book. So DNA gives you your eye colour and your hair colour and lots of other traits that you have that are very special to you. So if we find DNA in a piece of hair or blood at a crime scene, we can take the DNA from that and we can match it up to a criminal or a suspect. Extracting DNA for this experiment you will need washing up liquid a small beaker and a test tube, a Ziploc plastic bag, a sieve, a tweezers or something to take the DNA out with, some, some fruit, strawberries, kiwi, banana, walks best, salt. Rubbing alcohol, you can buy this in the chemist, but you will need adult supervision. Water, you don't need adult supervision for that. Pour your water into your beaker. Add washing up liquid into the water. Add your salt into the mixture and mix it. Put your fruit into the bag. Squash it up. Be careful not to tear the bag. Add your mixture that you made earlier into the bag. Pour your liquid into the beaker through a sieve. Use a spoon to squash any pieces through the sieve. And pour your mixture from your beaker into the test tube. Add your alcohol. Watch what happens. Well done, you've managed to extract DNA from the fruit. Our main suspects are Tracy. Tracy, our junior Einstein's expert, may look innocent, but we don't trust her. Dave. Dave, our science camera operator, looks suspicious and acts suspicious. What's he hiding underneath that cap? Peter. Peter is the director of science investigators and a known lover of chocolate. He has no alibis for when the crime was committed. It's not. I still think it's him. The DNA came back and said that it was definitely a man. The tread came back from the lab and said it was definitely Peter's genes. Well done, investigators. We successfully solved the crime. Well done, investigators. We never trusted Peter. Great job. You go to jail. Get him out of here. We've had a great journey on science investigators. 
from interesting and disgusting facts to cracking eggs, making clouds and solving crimes. We've made our own compasses, batteries from lemons and we've discovered how to launch our own rocket. Remember, science is all around us. It's part of everything that we see and do. Thanks for watching and keep on investigating.